three years of full-time RVing with the Anderson leveling blocks and why we love them so much. So if you're curious, stick around. If a lifetime warranty, if anything ever happens. Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Wait. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Anderson leveling blocks right here. You've probably seen these around the campground. Now, by no means am I affiliated with Anderson. They did not send us these blocks. Um, they're not paying us to do this video or nothing like that. We've actually had these since day one when we started full-time RVing. In fact, when we bought our camper, a 2018 Grand Design Solitude, you see here behind me, the guy that we bought the camper from, he had already purchased these and he went ahead and just sold these to us with the camper. They were just included. Didn't know much about them then and uh, wasn't too sure what they were all about. But after we've been full-timing for over three years with these now, we absolutely love them. And I'm gonna tell you why and just show you a little bit about them. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there have the RV snap pads. And I think that's a great product. I really like it. I like the fact that it always stays stuck to your uh, leveling jacks. You don't have to take it off and on. But I'm gonna tell you what I like about these so much and the number one reason why we absolutely love these and why I just wanna recommend it to everybody out there. So let's go ahead and get into this. Number one reason we absolutely love using these is just without having that leg extended as far, when we have these, we only have our legs usually a few inches out. It saves almost eight inches of leg. And we have had some overnighters where we just haven't put these out for one reason or another. And man, can I tell you what a difference. When we're actually in the fifth wheel and we're not using these and we have the legs fully extended, there is so much more wiggle and wobble inside that camper, especially with the washing machine going that it is so noticeable. And when we put these out, windy days down in Texas, uh, it's, it's a game changer. It really is drastically, drastically less wiggle room and play in the camper. Or if somebody's up in the front cab and somebody's sitting in the back of the camper just walking around, we can really, really feel how much the camper moves when we're not using these versus when we have these out underneath the camper. For us, that alone is just worth its weight in gold. So you can actually see right here, I have almost zero leg extended on this jack. So if you wanna talk about reducing wiggle room inside the camper and sway, this is what's perfect. With no leg extended, the wiggle room and the shaking inside the camper is almost non-existent. As you can see, this one still has a sticker on it because they just recently sent me this one the great thing about Anderson products is they have a lifetime warranty on them. Actually been using these for four years, if you include the people who had them before us, four years of full-time RV use um, to where these have constantly had weight and pressure on them. And we've only had one incident where one of them cracked just a little bit and we sent that back. And within just a few days, uh, they shipped us a new one. No questions asked, just send a picture to them and they give us a brand new one. So that's what's great about these things. Other than that, we've had no issues with them. So the fact that they will send you out a new one, if lifetime warranty, if anything ever happens, and I have read some reviews where people have said that they have cracked and broke, and it seems to be the only issue is when these are being used on gravel. Um, and I don't have it set up like that right now, but a lot of times if I do have it set up on gravel, I have some little square rubber mats that I actually put underneath them. And I think the issue is just when all the weight comes down and the different pieces and chunks of gravel that may crack these but honestly we've been full-timing for over three years now and we've been using them on gravel and we only had one issue and that wasn't a big issue again i contacted anderson and had a replacement with just in like two days so they really seem to stand behind their product and you just can't beat the lifetime warranty now i know a lot of people have brought up the question you know where do you store these when you're not using them well honestly as full-time RVers, for the most part i'm storing them usually underneath my camper because i'm using them all the time but on travel days, they actually do stack up real nice and easy. We usually stack them three high. We can put all six of them right here in the basement, right next to each other, where we can easily access them when we're getting where we're going. Or you can even just stack them up in the back of your truck. And hey, they also make a great seat if you're not using them. Now, I do know some other people who have uh, made their own, basically using wood, and that's great. Uh, nice idea. In fact, if these wouldn't have come with my camper, that's something I probably would have did too. But I will say that this plastic is really, really thick, high quality. It's not just some cheap plastic and it's actually really lightweight. To have a stack of wood this size is gonna be a lot heavier than these. I would say these maybe weigh about five pounds. You can see I can just kind of hold it with a few fingers and turn it around. I think to have that same amount of wood would actually be a lot more weight in your camper. Uh, the two magnets right here that just stick to your feet, these are super, super strong. 
And if these ever rust or if anything ever happens to these, again, you just contact Anderson and they will send you out some new magnets or they will just send you a whole new uh, block. And if you guys aren't into these, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what are you guys using to reduce the wiggle and the wobble inside your camper? Are you guys using some kind of different stabilizers or what are you putting underneath your feet? Whether it's leveling blocks or wood, go ahead and just let me know because I'm always interested and open to other ideas. Now, I know they can seem a little bit costly and I can understand that. Um, a lot of people think, you know, it's a very high price for just a little piece of plastic, but it really is a very high quality, durable, really thick plastic. And I can attest that, you know, three plus years of 17,000 pounds sitting on these 24 hours a day. And again, only one issue over that time. It's not like it affected the camper or anything like that. And the fact that they replace it, lifetime warranty, we're always gonna have these versus, you know, making my own or wood dry rotting or, or the heavy weight of wood. I, I think it's well worth it that you can pay that price and know you're gonna have them for the rest of your life. And one more reason we like them, hey, if you're not using them underneath your camper, maybe you're not a full-time RVer and you're just sitting around the fireplace at home doing a project, well, they stack up and they make a great seat as well. As always, guys, appreciate you stopping by, checking out the channel. Always appreciate the support. And hey, get out there, start your full-time RV adventure because, well, why wait? We'll see you guys next time.